Hello there, and welcome to my part two of this video. If you, if you didn't see part one, it'll be right there. Part part one, um, I was talking about like Flash and Arrow and One Punch Man, but right here I'll be talking about my thoughts and the actors that was be playing the new Pink Ranger for the new Power Ranger movie. Some cover more continuing on of my review of Kamara Ghost from last episode 1 of Kamara Ghost from last week I, I saw it and subbed and some new toys for Kamara Ghost and some new figure arts for a lot of other shows so let's get my thoughts on this new actress and some other things for the movie so, so a new actress is Naomi Scott she'll be playing the Pink Ranger for the new movie so, yeah, she's been in Lemonade Mouth and Terra Nova. Lemonade Mouth was on was a movie on Disney Channel, which I think it's one of the good Disney Channel movies. Like now, how, how like all this other crap they they put on TV for their movies. Like, yeah, I don't remember her character that much in Lemonade Mouth, but isn't she that Indian girl with the the, the smart or whatever or popularity something like, something like that? I don't know. I know I focus more on. There's also that guy from Dog with a Blog on that movie. I also, I thought, I, I thought, I thought she was the that punk girl from that movie. Uh, it's kind of a little disappointing because I actually liked her, that character from that movie. And I also focus on Brenda Song's character and that one bl other blonde dude. That blonde dude too. I focus more on those characters, but I did focus on her character because I don't even remember that much of her, her character from that movie. Um, so yeah. And she was also on Ternova. I I seen Ternova. Yeah, um, she's that teenager. I like, think she wanted a normal life, some, something like that. She didn't want to live with the dinosaurs or whatever. So yeah, um, the new Pink Ranger. She 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 looks okay. Um, well, um, not thinking that she looks like an Amy Jo Johnson type because I don't think that's what the new Power Rangers movie is going to be about. About I don't think it's gonna be a reboot. Of the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, because well, because the way I think now, because like since this this article came out that said uh, um the new movie will be focusing what the continuity, the canon of uh, Power Rangers, the current Power Rangers and previous as well for because like if this is a part of Power Rangers Dino Charge, it might involve Power Rangers from the past as well. So I think because well, I think it will since this is be tied to Dino Charge as well. Maybe it's not tied to exactly Dino Charge. Maybe this is more of a origin of origins, like Zoran's origin, because we don't know not that much about Zoran's origin. We do know that he gave the he created the power coins. He created everything, the Zords, everything else, or that was um Ninja Man or whatever, or Ninja or whatever that create the parkour because I don't know why do you switch that to that since Zoran creating to parkour since switch to Ninja I don't know that is confusing a little bit but this new Ranger movie might be tied to the past so that's all so I'm thinking this new Ranger movie is tied to the past like before all of this before Zoran was in the tube be probably even before Rita was evil so like what if Naomi Scott is playing Rita. What if Rita was the first Pink Ranger, the a Pink Ranger before Kimmelary, before anyone else? What if she was the original Pink Ranger? Can Naomi Scott be playing Rita as a Pink Ranger at the time? Like, a, like, like how, how long after 10,000 years? I'm free. Oh, 10,000 years ago. Like, yeah, 10,000 years ago. Like, what if that's happening? What if that? Is what the movie is about. Well, if the movie takes place ten thousand years ago, Zoran's the Red Ranger, or whatever, like any crazy, and they use the Gold Ranger uniforms for this movie. I hear a lot of people that don't like this idea as same continuity, but I like this idea. I invented my own ideas for this movie, probably, or they're probably already thought of this idea. What I'm thinking of, this could be. A great idea I think I like this idea that I, that I put out I can expand myself on more about this idea but but yeah that's that's my thought on this but let's get to 
It's the Kalreiner stuff. Alright. Continue part of my review. So, of, yeah, of Kamen So, yeah, it seems like if you watched my review of, from last week of Kamen Ghost that Ghost is, yeah, he died and, and uh, this is why I didn't get, um, he has like 15 of the icons of the, the gimmick of the show, um, in order to live again, he has to click all 15 icons, and he only has 99 days now. 99 days until he collects all of them. Or he has to collect 15 icons to live again. He has to collect, and he has only 99 days, and now he only has, because at the end of the episode, he only says that he has 98 days. So he has 98 days to collect all 15 now. Since there's Samurai icons number one, I thought. The ghost icon was number one, but it's, I was a little confused on why Samurai is number one, but, so, or extra icons, so yeah. So yeah, pretty exciting to see Ghost. So now I'm going to move on to some figures, a lot of figures that have been released, so, there we go. Okay, first things first, here's the new shot, here's a picture for it, if you didn't Google it already or whatever, so yeah, that's, that's all I was going to show you. But, I'm going to go back now. Yeah, this is, still, this is still mainly about toys, so, yeah. Oh, and, uh, Yoshi, um, the Blue Ranger from Dial Charge, it will be making a cameo on it in Nin Ninja next week, if you didn't already know about that. Okay, that's all. Let's get to the car stuff for ghosts. So, it looks like he's gonna have a, a ghost toke on boost one, like, uh, upgrade of himself. So yeah, that, that looks pretty cool. He's all red. Like, instead of like glowing, this more looks like some all paint almost to me. To me, if you have a different uh, opinion already on it, but yeah, it looks okay for yeah, it looks okay for now. But it's just a different different color of his different color of his regular form. It's okay. And some new forms for him. Um, Ga Go Iman Ru Ruman. These forms are from because I know that Spectre has forms of himself, extra forms for Spectre. I know just, I know Spectre has forms too, so I don't know which ones are which. So I don't know if this is for Ghost or Spectre or. For bolt, I don't know. Here, I think, yeah, yeah. I think they're, they're also, I think they're also for ghosts. Yeah, or we don't know. They could be, they could be for Spectre. They could be for ghosts. We don't know. Yes, wait, wait and see. It's new forms for him. For this over here, some new forms over here too. So, Gamer, Gamer. I can't pronounce these are j weird Japanese names, but. It's okay. Yeah, and here's um Ghost's new sword. So since these are like uh, icons, eyeballs or icons, this is like a glass, like glasses. So we go in here, so he has some cool new shades, or whatever, on his sword. That's yeah, pretty funny or neat. The well, last pretty neat. It's pretty funny kind of too. Looks like a flame. His new form looks fl a lot flamey. Yeah, here's like some action uh, action figure for it, and this is the new Comrider right here, um, Necron, 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 whatever. T, so like, I'll get to him in a little bit, but yeah, I'll show this driver more for whatever it is right now. Okay, here's Necron's new driver or morpher. Now, does it remind you of like? To me, it reminds me of. The, the Ghostbusters thing, you know how you like step on like some, you would step on it and the ghost would go in it. It looks like that to me, but I don't know why that would be like. I guess he's a like Necron or whatever. It's a like Ghost Hunter. This looks like a weird icon thing. It looks more weird and it looks more flat than the original icon. So I guess it goes in there or something. It looks like it's it's 
sideways first and then put the icon in and it flips over and then so you press this button to henshi yeah that looks that's, that's okay I guess mega deluxe mega road I can't not put it I'm bad but saying words or whatever but if you can read it you can read it let's not try it okay that looks okay so it's a wrist morpher instead of a belt morpher like usual for Kamen Rider but that's okay it's on okay, it's on Facebook I couldn't find it anywhere else there's some dino charge stuff if, if you like clicking that dino charge toys I click the Japanese ones but if they're they're pretty neat sometimes too like or unique because we didn't have this or Japan didn't have this for their selection of toys but it's pretty cool so let's go through it I think they already released this one green I don't know why they released it in blue get the ankylosaur finally or they got people got the ankylosaur whatever finally They already show them on the show, but I don't know, don't know why they didn't release them. And I get the, the alligator. I wonder how this is going to go. I want to see. They didn't show the back of it, did they? How it looks? Oh, so it's a, Oh, I didn't see that at first. So it's an arm. Basically, I'm pretty curious to see what it does. Now, they released this one, but in gray. But this is like probably like a throwback to the Down Thunder one pretty neat and also if you don't see that there's a green what's it called of the black ranger sword and because that's also another throwback to whatever the per, 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 per offices that's what it's called per offices yeah bad with dinosaur names too and this is like a red velociraptor I don't know why there's a red velociraptor but mm, We'll see what happens. People want or whatever, and probably people probably want this because it reminded the down down one and this one because it reminds because it reminds them of the down the one. But I don't know why they have a red Velociraptor. I mean, you can get this in two packs now. That's pretty cool for, for the holiday season. Get your son or daughter a Megazord. If your daughter actually likes Fire Rangers or whatever. So over here we see some legacy stuff. Over here is legacy communicator. We'll, we'll get to that later. And where should we start? So we've seen this stuff right. Oh wait. There's Falcon Zord. Eh. They should release the other Zords first before they release Falcon Zord. Because Falcon Zord is just a Falcon. It can't transform without the other pieces of the Megazord. I don't know what they're thinking. Just stop with the riding of the Tommy train. But if you see, I, I'm still trying to get that. But if you see that blade blaster, let's take let's get closer look at it. Closer. There we go. Ah, Eighty freaking dollars. That's I know. How, it's supposed to be highly, very expensive, but I would put. Ten ten dollars down on it, like, cause um, I think was it the Dragon Dagger, like seventy bucks, and I I'm fine with that, and I'm fine with the Saba being like ninety bucks, but I think th there should this should be pretty even with the Dragon Dagger, but it's okay I guess. When they release the other weapons or whatever. Like the power sword, they that should be like a hundred bucks or ninety bucks. That should be that should be very expensive. Well, I can't wait to get the blade blade blaster. Like see blade blaster, can't wait to get that and stop as well. I haven't got that yet, but I will. I will. So here is the legacy communicator. It looks like you can switch between the colors. I'll leave it. On, I'll just leave it on red because I like the red ranger. They should have green too, or white. That would be pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, maybe they'll release future releases of it. Maybe a gold one. 
Maybe you can. I wonder if you can actually tell time too. It's the actual time watch. I wonder if it's digital. Really seen power Green Ranger power coin, but yeah. I don't have it. I don't. I don't have it yet. Still trying to get that, but I'm glad re-releasing it. Yeah, right there, close up. Sa. I hope. I don't think you will tell time, but I would like it to tell time. Okay. Now here are some figure arts. Like here's Bowser figure art. Now, I see Mario at my anime shop. I'm trying to still try and get him, but I'll also get Bowser too. And Yoshi too. I'm a little disappointed that his arms can't move. Oh, here. Here's a close look at his face. I'm a little disappointed that his arms can't move, but he can his arms sometimes, I think. The game. <sighs> yeah, that looks cool. You make Smash Bros poses, whatever. There you go. And here's like some effects parts for Mario. When he's like strolling down. The however you pose them with. These guys, you can get like multiple of them and like throw hammers at him. I don't remember anything. Yeah, I don't remember that part. I think they throw hammers at him. I or a little one. Like I only play. I don't play that much Mario because of the uh, games like this. I play Mario Kart, and a little, I used to play Mario Party, but I haven't gotten Mario Party in like a long time. I enjoy Mario Kart a lot and Smash Bros. Cloud guy. Why is that cloud guy always helping people in the Mario Kart, but in this game he throws stuff at you? That little spiky guy. Yeah, I remember when I was playing with my cousins and brother. Like I, I suck. I used to fall off, but with the the Super Mario for Wii U, whatever, whatever. Or it was for Wii. I think it was for Wii. Yeah, I remember falling off a lot. My brother laugh at me. Man, man. I don't know if you can take out that, take it out the uh, spike ball. I don't think you can. It, it just, yeah, I don't think you can. I was very excited to see, see this Ninja Turtle figure arts because I know Revel Tech RA made their own Ninja Turtles for the Nickelodeon ones and I was going to get that but because uh, I, like, I like SA figure arts and I'm, I wanted them to make it but I was like okay but now like I'm glad they're, they're making this one the original from the, from the original cartoon I, I seen I had like DVDs of the original cartoon I pretty much enjoyed it yeah, I'm pretty excited to see see them, but it's okay, I guess. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Yeah, this is pretty great. Can't wait to have them. I wonder if Mikey comes with two of the spinning nunchucks because I know the Rebel Tech has came with only one, and people were disappointed with that. I wonder if we can also change our faces too. I hope so. They look pretty great. Just repeating the Yeah, they look pretty great, okay? Last but not least, but there's been announced that there will be reaching some more Kamen Rider figures. I know they released like these other Kamen Riders in the past before, like I see um Ruki was also released, Five was also released. Blade, Deno, and Kibo. They were released in the past, but it looks like they're reissuing them to make them more neater. How it did, how they did it with Decayed. So, yeah, so Decay is coming out 2016 of, um, that's... Is that... No, it's not May... June, July, August... 
April? I don't know. But yeah. So every year we'll be getting a new a reissued Tom Ryder f figure. Now, I'm thinking like, where are the Ranger figures? Come on, I want Ranger figures too. I know I love a Tom Ryder, but I also love Rangers. Come on, make some new Ranger figures. Come on, really be released. Really some. Come on. Duh, stop it. Yeah, so that, that, that's it. So I'll be going back. I hope you like that. So, also I saw Boruto on Saturday. So I'm going to a review of that. So if you're like Naruto anime or whatever. And Boruto is Naruto's son. And if, if you don't know about that already. So, yeah. Please comment, like, and subscribe for more. I've been Matt1. And explosion.